Hello everyone, today I'm going to review this. This is the Amazon Basic DSLR laptop bag. So why did I buy this bag? First I needed a proper backpack to carry my equipment on while hiking. Um, second reason I bought this over one of the more expensive ones out on the market like Low Pro or Think Tank is because it was $50 which is pretty affordable for the size of backpack that it is. Now, I'm gonna review what's inside of it, how it looks, but I can't speak to the quality of the build on this. Although, from everything I see so far, it's pretty decent. Um, there may be a reason why some of the other bags are more expensive, but for me, the little trips that I take, this should be quite adequate. So with that, let's get started with one of the most frequently asked questions on the internet about this bag. What size of laptop will it fit? In the back, it has a pullout and a cover, I guess, that fits the laptop. So as a, as a demo, I'm gonna use this 17 inch MacBook Pro. And as you can see, that is about as big of a laptop that's gonna fit in here, but it fits in here very well does make it heavy though. That laptop measures about 15 and a half inches by about 10 and a half and 18 inches diagonal. If you're not in the US, I suggest looking up the conversion in Google. So with that, let's get started on what's on the inside other than that. Um, like any good laptop bag uh, should have, it has the fold out for putting pens and cards and everything in it. And as we open it up, you can see it has plenty of divides and spacers for all of the equipment. So first I'm going to get rid of these and I'm going to take this out. Let's get this off because I would be traveling this with this bag. I'm going to put the black rapid strap on and the lens I'm using is the Nikon 70-200. Those two items fit in there quite nicely. And let's add a few more things. I'm going to put a sonic light meter and a Nikon SB700 flash. We'll put a, I believe this is a 30, let's see here, 35 millimeter lens. Plenty of room in there. Put some batteries for the flash. Let's put those over here. I've got some triggers, cord, and a, a flash mount for a light stand. And what else can we put in there? Some filters. I've got a pocket or uh, X-ray passport color checker, and some other small accessories. As you can see, I fit everything in there very well, um, with a little bit of room to spare. We'll close that up, and now I can put pens in here room for spare memory cards. I already had that in there. Business cards, model release, and another uh, pop-up flash. There you go. All right, a couple more details about this bag. As you can see, it has a pocket it's on both sides for carrying miscellaneous stuff. It's got straps for either a 
tripod or light stands. Attach those easily to the bag. Um, adjustable straps so it doesn't slide out. Um, on the back, it has this belt that goes around your waist. These are very handy if you're taking longer hiking trips to take some of the weight off the shoulders. It puts the weight more on the hips. Uh, the shoulder, shoulder straps are adjustable. Everything you'd expect in a bag. Um, I really haven't worn this yet. I haven't taken it out, but uh, I have tried it on real quick and it's pretty comfortable. All right, so far, I really think this is going to fit what I needed for a bag for occasional day trips, and I can't wait to get out and use it. Thanks for watching, everyone.